another drive-by view got a new cutter behind us parker hamilton first person i've ever met from youtube so everyone welcome parker i'll put a link to his channel in the description anyway it's monday hope you all have a great week Two and a half in Gold Mountain. Yeah, nice and cool today. Had a bunch of had a bunch of lightning on the way to work this morning, so hopefully there's not any fires. What's going on, everyone? So we got a, another guest on the channel. First person I've ever met off YouTube. Uh, he started following us, you know, what about a month ago? About a month ago so everyone say hi to parker parker hamilton he's on youtube just started so uh go give him a like and uh subscribe i'll drop a link in the description he does a lot of timber falling in alaska uh and here in washington state so we're gonna get to cutting like i said go give him a like subscribe check out his channel so hope you guys enjoy the video try to get some footage of him falling some trees here in a bit <laughs> So right here I'm getting ready I'm gonna try and bore cut this tree um, I have no idea what happened here uh, <clears throat> I made my face cut bored in had hinge wood and yeah as soon as I bored in the tree sat down pretty hard so got the bar stuck pulled the power head off and uh, used my spare bar and chain and got my bar out but yeah I don't know why or how it uh, sat down like it did, but you know, stuff happens. So, I, like I said, I show you guys everything. So, hope you guys enjoy this little bit. Uh, it's pretty comical. I even throw my chain on backwards.
I went and bore cut that one and uh, just because it's heavy leaner come in right behind my hinge wood sat down on my bar so I'm gonna grab my spare bar my spare chain change it out dump it show you guys real time kind of sucks because the power heads flipped up like that Shocked it sat down like that. Oh well, stuff happens. That's why we carry spare bars and spare loops of chain. Now I'm gonna have to change this back out once I'm done because this is a bar with a bad tip. I haven't been able to bring my stuff home and change out that tip. But it's going home tonight. I won't be here for two days. I got to take our youngest boy to a doctor's appointment. He's got really bad arthritis. You know, he gets it, gets it from me and my family. I got it pretty bad. And, well, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. You know, you only let that stuff bug, bug you as much as you want. It's like I told him. I said, you only let that bother you and hold you back as much as you want. I've, ever since I was about 15, 16 years old, I uh, would wake up in the mornings and could hardly move. And I always thought it just was just from getting bucked off horses and bucking hay bales and, you know, rough went ranch life. And uh, Yeah, he's got a doctor's appointment to see how bad it is. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh at this. Holy smokes. Can anybody tell me what I did wrong? Chains on backwards. <laughs> oh man, that's too funny. Dang. Yeah, he's got a dentist appointment one day and doctors the next, which we gotta go to the big city, so we're gonna stay. That's why I got it upside down. I meant to put the bar on upside down, which my chain would be forward.
One gentleman asked me on uh, why I don't lift my bar. And he says that from the factory, you to lift your bar up to get your sights to line up. Which I noticed my sights were a little bit off. You know, like I said, I don't claim to know everything. And, uh, oh, I think it's very tight. Oh, well. But uh, if anybody knows on that, let me know. Do you have to lift your bar up for your sights to match up? It's Monday. Well, it's my Friday. I worked all last week and this weekend. Yard are running, moving wood. Parker's right down there picking up where Danny left off yesterday. So another quick tip that I was told one time by my old man and I forgot about it. And Parker reminded me of it. Take your Horseshoe nail onto your tape, slide it down your bar, cleans your bar rails out. Not only does it do that, but you take and run it in the holes of your oiler, your oiler holes, and it cleans them out. Learn stuff every day, even stuff I've forgotten. Again. Run it down your bar rail. Just like so. Back to work. for YouTube look up look up what saw are you running it's a 500 I had about oh six seven months on it sounding good He's running a bark box West Coast dogs West Coast clutch cover max flow air filter any porting done to it uh, yeah yeah ported who ported it? What's that? Who ported your saw? Uh, Jason Egan. Jason Egan. 
check out Jason Egan. He's on YouTube, isn't he? Or no? I don't know whether he is or not. He's uh, the one that Egan, did the Egan straight shot, right? Yeah. Yep. Egan Performance Saws is his website. Yeah. Cody Barber on uh, YouTube. He's. I'll uh, put a link to his uh, YouTube page. He runs a lot of uh, Egan built saws. Uh, go check out his channel. Link's in the description. Uh, Parker's will be in the description as well. Check him out if you like timber falling, especially big timber. He goes up to Alaska, spends, what, four or six months up there every year. He runs his own yarder side, too. His yarder's down right now. Anyway, we're going to get back to dumping timber. <laughs> cooperated you can see what that does is when you bore through right there uh -huh. and you make that strap cut there the tree's got this to set on instead of grabbing your bar gotcha i just do that when i'm going to set up a big push and i don't have enough wedges so you learn shit every day how many years you've been cutting 10 10 years yep no that's it i'm all ears when uh i got other guys around and learn shit every day it's pretty cool. Right on, well, I'm gonna get over here and get back to work. So stay safe. Well, I hope you guys liked today's video. Um, it was a good day, got a lot of timber down. Uh, Kelsey's almost at her goal on a donation for her classroom stuff. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody who's donated. If you would like to donate and help meet her goal, I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. You guys are so awesome. Um, it's going to help the kids have classroom supplies and stuff like that. So, like I said before, it goes to the donation fund. The donation fund buys all the stuff and ships it to Kelsey for her classroom. So again, thanks to all the people who have donated, the anonymous people, thank you. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Wish you good health and happiness.